Hey guys, I'm back with another one of my collections. All right, today we have a collection video. I've never actually done a collection video before, so this is new. Um, this is basically all of my Hasbro figures. So I'm going to go around the room and kind of take a look from oldest to newest, and uh, we'll see what I have here. So these are all sealed in box. Um, I uh, was one of those types to buy two of every figure and one to keep sealed, one to keep open. I've sold all my open figures and this is what I have left. These are all my sealed figures. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a look. It's probably going to be a little bumpy at first, um, but uh, we'll see what we have here. So I'll just go down the room here. I've got some Legends, old Legends figures in the corner, Braun. This is uh, this is actually my this is the room that I actually record in for my uh, for my videos. It's a little junk room of mine, <laughs> um, and I don't know. I, I'm just uh, I mean these are definitely cool figures. Um, I'm happy to still have them. I guess um, they don't really do anything for me anymore. I mean it's nice that I have them all. Uh, just to kind of look at, but um, I don't know. I I guess I don't really enjoy these figures the way I used to. Um, like I said, I did have a complete open set that I that I've sold, um, and so here these are these are all of my you know sealed ones, um, and I, I don't know. I, I just I think I've lost my passion for retail retail Hasbro figures. Uh, so moving over to uh, Generations line, Generations Thrilling 30. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of fun figures, you know. Definitely fun figures. Uh, it was fun to collect them, but um, I really feel at this point, you know, I'm, I'm definitely a masterpiece collector. I've always been a masterpiece collector. Um, I think I'm going to continue collecting masterpiece. That's RC with the open hands, and I do have RC with the closed hands as well. Try not to go too fast here. So we'll go back over to our next row. There's uh, there's RC with the closed hands. It's kind of getting a little glare from the from the ceiling light. Combiner Wars, and uh, I don't want to go. Like I said, I don't want to make you guys sick <laughs> with the going so fast here. Um, more Combiner Wars. I mean, you guys have seen all these figures before. You recognize all the figures. Um, it's what we collected throughout the years for Combiner Wars. There's the Walgreens Brainstorm. And then uh, as we move down, we've got we've got uh, all of the Voyagers. So I've got all the Voyagers. And then moving into Titan's Return. I mean, that jet flyer is an awesome figure. Then I've got SDCC Devastator sealed, an SDC Metroplex sealed. I don't know what I'm doing. And another Devastator retail. I mean, I would just keep on buying stuff. I don't know if that's what everyone else does, but I mean, look at the box art for that. How can you pass that up? That's awesome. <laughs> um. Moving along, we'll move along to some other older generations figures up top. And then you've got um, some Legends figures, old and new. I am going to continue to collect the Legends figures. I do enjoy the Legends figures and the Prime Masters. Uh, Transformers Prime. What an awesome toy line. I, I don't think I would ever get rid of these. Um, I really enjoy the cartoon series. And uh, I think this is uh, definitely a fun fun line. These are all my sealed ones. 
The Viacon, really cool. Uh, they were cool in the cartoon and cool as a toy. Just real, real fun. Fun stuff. Fun, fun stuff. So that's another set. So let's see. So now, uh, what else we got here? Oh, we got some Shark to Con Nas. Uh, I got a bunch of those that I haven't opened yet. Have no idea why I bought so many, but that was the the big craze is to buy a whole bunch and to put them all over the place. Uh, oh, here's my 2006, I believe, classics line. So here's all of the classics. It's a cool line. Um, Definitely really, really heavy plastic on these ones. So, I don't know. So there you go, guys. That's uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a breakdown of my retail, um, my retail collection. Um, it has been fun collecting these throughout the years. Uh, I just. I quit buying retail for 2016, so you know I, I stopped buying for 2016, and the only ones that I continued buying were the Legends, uh, and I think that's what I'm going to do. Is I'm I don't I feel the Legends line is still, and, and with the Legends, I'm not collecting all Legends. I'm only collecting the ones that I feel should be in a mini bot scale size, which I know is kind of confusing. So technically for the Insecticons, I won't open up those Insecticons because I don't feel that the G1 toy, technically the Insecticons would have been the deluxe size. Um, and in the cartoon, they were still bigger than the mini bots. So basically with the Legends, my rule is the character has to be uh, the character actually has to be a mini bot or a, a smaller character either as a toy form or in the cartoon form. Um, so that's kind of how I'm going to be doing it. And that's why I opened up a whole bunch of Legends this year. Uh, just a couple weeks ago, I actually had everything sealed just like I, I have there. And um, I actually opened up a whole bunch, and I only the only ones I opened up were, were the smaller size uh, characters that would have been smaller represented in the cartoon as a smaller size, or was a small so size in a toy. So I don't know. It, there's if you want to uh, put any method to my madness, that's kind of how I'm looking at it. Um, everything else, I really just don't have any kind of a passion or care about anymore. Uh, so. I guess what I'm going to do is just box everything up and clear out this room. Um, I'm looking to remodel it anyway, so uh, this is just kind of my my video room that I record stuff in. And uh, so um, I think it's time to box everything up, put everything in storage, and that's about it. Uh, done with buying retail figures. Well, so I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing a little bit of my collection. Um, it has, it, like I said, it's been fun to collect this all over the years. Uh, but like I said, at this point, I am saying sayonara to collecting retail figures. All right, guys, well, I just want to wish everyone a happy 2018. And also, if you want to check me out on a podcast that I'm part of, uh, go over to OpenYourToys.com. That's where you'll find all the show notes. Uh, we do a bi-weekly podcast of the four greatest action figure franchises of all times, which is Transformers, Star Wars, Masters of the Universe, and G.I. Joe. All right, guys, uh, I will see you in 2018 with some more collection videos or more collectible videos. Take care, guys.